Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use PSX to PSP and what this will do is shrink your bin and queue files down to a .pbp file. Now what you want to do is you want to get this application. You can find it at uh, bit.ly slash xb1home. It will go to my Mediafire page. Just look for emulator tools and then PlayStation and then download it. Extract it on the computer and then go and launch PSX to PSP. Then you'll see something like this. If you don't uh, switch to classic mode, because it might be on theme mode, uh, go to options. Make sure all of this is exactly the same. So compression's best. These three are on. All this. Folders. You don't have to set any of this if you don't want to. Images, patches, and theme. See, so make sure this is off. Use theme mode. Make sure that's off because it's better. And then hit save. Then, what you want to do is you want to go here and you want to select a file. I'm going to go to, let's say, uh, Dino Crisis. Alright? Go to the bin. Then if it's a multi-disc game, just select this and select the ne next disc. But anyways, I'm just doing one today, so click this. Uh, go to where your ROMs are, where you want to put this file. Now you can only do this one at a time because of the fact that um, that's how our uh, our settings are set up. So what it's going to do is it's going to turn it into uh, eboot.pbp and you're going to have to rename it when it's done. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, then hit convert. Alright, now when it's done, it'll tell you the final compression size right here so we shrunk it down by 32 percent so now uh, you could go to the next game by clicking on this and go to the next game um, and then I'll put again but me I'm just in this tutorial I'm going to show you where it went and what it did so make sure you do this first since um, the name is eboot.pvp if you keep converting them they're going to have that name so what you want to do is rename this to Dino Crisis PvP. I can delete this one because I don't need this anymore. See, you can see that this one's uh, 278 while this one was um, 398 so it shrunk it down and then all you need to do now is go to uh, RetroArch and launch the PvP file and it should play a lot better than you know having to move over the bin and queue each time you want to play a game to make sure like the audio's working and everything I'm sure like a lot of you have a lot of storage so shrinking it isn't like that big of a deal but this is an option for those that want to do this so thanks for watching remember to comment below thumbs up the video and subscribe and if you have any questions I'm on discord and uh, anything else, just let me know in the comment section. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.